types of investments that you can consider as a beginner. There's no guaranteed path to success. It's crucial to tailor investment strategy to your individual circumstances. As a beginner, certain types of investment can be considered to safely land on a successful business. Hi there, welcome to Seller's Planet. Today, we're going to talk about the things to consider in investing in a certain field. Stay with us because these tips might get you to your dream investment. Types of investments you can try as a beginner. There are several types of businesses and investments that beginners can consider. Starting with depending on their interests, skills, risk tolerance, and available capital. One is mutual funds. Mutual funds offer a simple, diversified, and relatively low risk way for new investors to start investing. Pooling money from multiple investors, mutual funds invest in various assets like stocks and bonds, spreading risk across different sectors and companies. With lower minimum investments, mutual funds are accessible to beginners, allowing them to build a diversified portfolio without a large financial commitment. For beginners, mutual funds provide educational resources and support, helping them learn about investing and make informed decisions. Second is index funds. Index funds are an excellent choice for new investors due to their simplicity and cost-effectiveness. These funds aim to replicate the performance of a specific market index, making it easier for beginners to understand their investments. By tracking an entire market index, index funds provide instant diversification, reducing the impact of poor performance by any single stock. Moreover, index funds are cost-effective, with lower fees compared to actively managed funds. Their passive investment approach, which avoids frequent buying and selling of securities, is beneficial for beginners who may not have the time or knowledge for active trading. You can totally try real estate as well. Real estate investment is favored by investors for its potential to generate income, appreciate in value, and provide diversification. Owning physical property can be reassuring for beginners, offering a sense of ownership and control. Real estate can provide regular rental income, offering a passive income stream for investors. Investors can choose their level of involvement, from hands-off options like REITs to actively managing rental properties. Real estate is ideal for long-term financial goals, with rental income, property appreciation, and tax advantages contributing to wealth accumulation over time. Of course as simple as it is, you can start with certificate of deposits. CDs are a secure, predictable, and user-friendly option for new investors. They offer exceptional safety, insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, ensuring the invested principal is protected. Investing in CDs is straightforward. Investors select a term length and deposit funds into the CD account. CDs help beginners understand investing principles like setting financial goals, managing timeframes, and compound interest. Ideal for short-term goals, CDs provide a safe and efficient way to accumulate funds with fixed terms that align with specific timeframes. You can try individual stocks. Investing in individual stocks offers unique advantages for learning and potential profits. It involves buying shares in specific companies, making you a partial owner. This type of investment can be educational as you research companies, industries, and market trends. You have control over your investment decisions, selecting companies you believe in based on your research. And lastly, bonds. Bonds are well suited for new investors due to their lower risk and regular interest payments. They involve purchasing debt securities from governments, municipalities, or corporations in exchange for periodic interest. Bonds offer lower risk compared to stocks, providing beginners with a sense of security. Investors receive regular interest income, making bonds an attractive option for those seeking steady returns. Important things to consider as a beginner. While the allure of potential returns is appealing, it's essential for beginner investors to approach their investment decisions with careful consideration and a well-informed strategy. IA Goal Setting clear investment goals is essential for a purposeful financial journey. Goals provide focus, create a roadmap, and keep you motivated. They have associated time horizons, guiding your investment choices. Measurable benchmarks help track progress, allowing for adjustments and celebrations along the way. Know the whereabouts. Knowledge is key in investing. Understanding different options, asset classes, and instruments empowers decisions. This knowledge minimizes risks and maximizes returns. Asset allocation, diversification, and risk management are crucial principles for beginners to grasp. 
These principles help in aligning strategies with financial goals and circumstances. Recognizing scams is important to protect investments. Knowing how to differentiate between legitimate and fraudulent opportunities safeguards money. Assess your risk tolerance. Assessing your risk tolerance helps tailor your investment strategy for a balance between risk and returns, enhancing your chances of meeting financial goals. Risk tolerance changes with time due to various factors. Regular assessments help adjust your strategy to match your comfort level. Expert guidance. Financial advisors bring valuable expertise to investing, helping navigate the market and make informed decisions. They tailor strategies based on your financial situation, goals, and risk tolerance, offering a learning experience for beginners. Frequently asked questions. What is investing in mutual funds? Investing in mutual funds involves pooling money with other investors to collectively invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets managed by professional fund managers. What is risk tolerance assessment? Risk tolerance assessment involves evaluating your comfort level with investment risk. It helps determine the amount of risk you're willing to take on in your investment portfolio. This could be based on factors like financial goals, time horizon, and personal preferences. Are certificates of deposit, CDs, suitable for short-term or long-term goals? CDs are often considered more suitable for short-term goals due to their fixed terms and lower potential returns. They can provide stability and capital preservation but might not offer high growth potential. Key takeaway. As a beginner investor, educate yourself about basic investment concepts and different asset types to make informed decisions. Understand the characteristics, benefits, and risks of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, and real estate before investing. And that is all for today's video. Hope this helps you start your investment. In terms of business and such, you can always count on us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of these. Hit the bell button so you're always notified every time we release new content.